So Dave, um, we're currently at like 462 subscribers. Uh, so say, say thank you, I, I wrote a poem for, for each of our subscribers, <clears throat> starting with uh, Leo55. <clears throat> oh, Leo55, you make my heart feel so alive. And all the things you do, we know you are completely the best of bros. And with your wisdom, And there it was, the comment fell, Leo, I love you as well. Right, so that's the first one. What's going on? 461 to go. I'm gonna go back on my phone. Oh, Jason Snow Wolf. Hello and welcome to NPCs of Wild Mount. And for some reason, every time I do that intro, I do like a hand thing as well. I don't know what that's about. Presentation. Uh, presentation, yes, exactly. With myself, Oliver, Dungeon Master, and currently level four rogue, uh, Dwarven Rogue. And uh, Dave. Wow. We've been playing, the, we played the game for what, how many weeks? And you didn't even get my class right. I was talking about me. Oh. I'm now a Dwarven Rogue. I thought you were talking about me because I was a Dwarven Hunter. No, no, we were, uh. we're both Dwarves, yeah. So it was all First about you. This intro is all about you. <laughs> yeah, um, so basically I've been doing great. Um, I mean, you know, having fun. I've been, fun. yeah. Just, we, we don't care. Um, we've, yeah, set up my Nintendo 64 today, which is cool. That was really fun. Um, so this is just an episode called Ollie's Corner, and we're just going to talk uh, about me um, the whole time. I realise there's not actually much to say about me. <laughs> no, <we're boring. laughs> this is kind of it. <laughs> this is why we do this show. I could say I do a YouTube channel, but you're watching it. Um, and by the way, it's a real we good pickup line. We do a YouTube channel. We, yeah, exactly. That's what I said. Um, it's actually, it's actually a real good pickup line. If you haven't used it, hey, we run a YouTube channel. It's not. It works. It's. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> he knows that because he's tried it. I haven't um, tried it at all. I just decided that's not a good pickup line. <laughs> hey, it's a great pickup line. I have a YouTube um, channel. Really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I feel sorry. Here's <laughs> Anyway, here's some soup. Let's continue on the review. It's a good way to get soup. All right. Um. So Critical Role two, episode twelve. Mm. Um. Yeah, fantastic episode. I cannot remember a damn thing that happened until I look at my notes. Right. Um. Oh yeah. No, that's right. They're right in the middle of the plot. Uh. For Lord Sutan and High Rector. Like yes. So kick us off. Dan. As we awesomely remember the plot last time. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like. I just like to point out we do we do this every week and trying to watch and be focused. You know, it's it's hard sometimes. So we, we, we have to go back. On we that lose one. focus a lot, as yeah. you probably noticed by our bantering. <laughs> half this, uh, like at this point, we've only talked about Critical Role a little bit this entire video. <laughs> yeah, we get way sidetracked. But basically, the the, the, stu the first hour is rather slow p play pace because yeah. they try and enact a plan of trying to get some documentation so they can forge a note. Yeah, and it just goes horribly wrong. Yeah, that, that, that's basically <laughs> that's, the crust. Mm. The crust of the first half of the episode, which is essentially the bedrock of D and D. You plan, you plan, you plan, and then it goes wrong. The, there's detailed. a lot of in jokes. We feel like it's going to stick around, like yep. pigeons. Oh my god, the pigeons. metagaming pigeons. Yeah. yeah, the chat went wild for that. There was like whole requests for fan art. Um, mm. Yeah, that was fantastic. So, so the metagaming pigeons. So if, if we start kind of trying to do the best timeline we can do, so they basically meet Dolan. Um, and yep. start to get a little bit more information from them about yep. really what they can do. Because like, essentially their plan is to is to tail the High Richter uh, and Sutan and stuff to find out where they live, mm -hmm. uh, break in, steal the seal, so they have the king's seal, yep. um, and find something with his handwriting so they can forge it. Yes. So basically the first one is, is kind of... Uh, <sighs> well, they, they have two plans. They're like, we could either intercept some mail yeah. or go to the public records. Because like, you know, the government buildings in America, they yeah. keep all that stuff on file. Um, so try and find that. They're going to split up to try and figure that out. Yeah. Um, oh, Caleb actually, at the, at the, right at the start, he, doubt, he doubts Ulag. Ulag is one of the members of the underground. Yeah. Um, the dwarf, kind of, uh, from the Knights of Requital. The Knights of Requital. Requital. Um, so, but he's a, bit, he's a bit unsure on Ulag. Mm. And I think he rolls some uh, insight. But, mm. And he gets a whisper, but we don't. it doesn't reveal what that whisper is. Which means it's probably nothing bad. I think, feel like if he had said, yeah, he's lying. Yeah, but. I feel like it, if, if it was like some shocking thing, Caleb would have said something. Yeah. Um, but then again, Caleb has a knack of keeping things to himself. And he, oh. has a, he, he doesn't trust the party as we find out he has a bit of confrontation later. At the wrong time. Yeah. So essentially, like Caleb is, is, is a little bit distant. All he really wants to do is protect Not, uh, and and maybe find a purpose somewhere in these adventures. But um, but yeah, I think the party is not yet 
100% formed and gelled. No, like, no. Together, no, they're working to a common goal, goal, but I don't feel there's that. And, and they're bond. still bad at plans. <laughs> oh, like yeah. the first half of the episode, they, they kind of um, they, they make a plan that fails. Basically. Yeah, they go, let's go get the handwriting. And after 20 minutes, like, well, we didn't find A lot any. of vomiting and mayonnaise and eggs and a lot of other stuff. It, it just doesn't go well. The vomiting was quite strange. In fact, actually, I would recommend uh, watching this episode if you do have the time. Um, it is. It's I thought you said I'm going to recommend vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, uh, no. Don't do that. Um, drink coffee instead. That's the. Unless you're really drunk, you need to vomit, and that's a good way of like not having a hangover. Actually, vomit. apparently, if you just like, if you just breathe sharply and quickly, it, it, renew, it reduces nausea whilst you're drunk. Hashtag life hacks. <laughs> but you can also vomit. You feel better in the morning. It's true. We actually used to have a patch of garden outside of the place we used to party for that thing. It was a vomit garden, yeah. essentially. It's good to have a vomit garden, people. That's that's the real message of this week's <laughs> NPCs of Wild Mount. MVP vomit garden. MVP vomit garden. I didn't have an MVP this week because I couldn't decide. Why so can't I have an MVP? I was about to say. I hope I hope that you have one. I I have one. Okay, good. Well, should we do it when we get? But it's not there, there's not one particular moment. Mm. But I just think she was good for that for out. Okay. Okay. All right. Should you want me to reveal? Yeah, let's do it. No, we'll do it. We'll do it when we get to like something that they did. Okay. Uh, in the episode. Okay, I've got something in mind. All right, fantastic. So, um, yeah, they, they leave. They go try. They fail. They come back. Um, oh, then, then med metagaming pigeon happens. Essentially, Laura was like giving the signal of the pigeon call. Now, signals are not only great in D and D. Um, but in life, if you have like a code word, you ring someone up and you say Congress tart, they know you've been kidnapped. It's kind of useful in case you get kidnapped. Um, yeah, it happens the, to be all Yeah, I know, for all the times that I get kidnapped that don't yeah. have a code word, I'm like, oh, I man. normally just yell out, I'm kidnapped, yeah. but no one does anything. It's like, that's not the code word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a little more subtle. I mean, if I had have had the code word the first five times, and really by the sixth, seventh time I got mm. kidnapped, I should have come up with one. But... Mm. So anyway, so they, they, they begin the real plan, which is um, get to Lord Sutton's house. Yeah. Um, which goes as about as well as any plan that, that they kind of yep. do. <laughs> they also do more shopping. So it's like it's like the three hundredth time in four episodes, but they get a climbing kit, which yeah. is, is very very useful. So uh, they basically go to um, Lord Sutton's and get gets get what they need. Now they had to trail him to find where he lived because mm. the guards and stuff weren't giving too much information. Um, they said what's well, this kind of area. Uh, and then Caleb and Frumpkin kind of do a bit of spy stuff, which is perfect. You're mm. so familiar. And just to kind of write the note. Um, yeah. to basically try and um, I'm trying try to figure out whether that's the note that Bo helps out with uh, yeah they, they kind of go back and forth and try and decide what to say um, whilst uh, whilst Frumpkin and Caleb are kind of watching for guards and, and mm. that kind of stuff now um, yeah at one point when they're trying to so basically they, they, they make their way in they break in mm. uh, and then they've got to run a bit of deception because um, the there's a lot of traps, they've got a yeah. alarm systems basically. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the, there's magic traps which they they <laughs> not kind of does it in, in hindsight to yeah. look for traps because they have trouble getting up the wall as well, yeah. and that that's a bit of debacle throwing up the the grappling hook. Yeah. The grappling hook. Yeah. Um, and they finally get up. Bo didn't do very well getting up, but she got <laughs> up in the end. Do you mind if I ask something of the people watching this? Can I ask a person? They're not going to respond right now, but you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's pointless then. Uh, they'll be in the comments, though. Oh, yeah, in the comments. Um, I'm basically I'm designing a, a, a dungeon crawl, like really heavy on puzzles and traps. So if you've got some great puzzles and traps that I can use, please leave them in the comments down below. I would love to get some of that um, for this place that I'm designing currently for my game. Thank you. Um, anyway. He doesn't like to think of things without. Uh, why should I? I can outsource this crap, you know? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, so basically, let, let's skip to Lord Sutton's. I just want to mention one thing. Uh, Caleb says to not, uh, let's do mother's love. We'll do mother's love. Basically, again, code words. They've got code words for some of their cons. I think it's wonderful. Um, and I, I imagine some critters out there are going to put together a little phrase book of what the different codes mean. Well done. All right. So, you continue. Can. I think so. What does that phrase mean? We do mother's love. We don't know because we didn't see oh. what, the, what the thing is. But essentially, but how can critters put it together if we don't? If well, I mean, if they're in the pr in future. Are you, it, oh, okay. You know, as why, as why it don't goes, you put it together? I could totally stop put outsourcing <laughs> things. Do <laughs> things yourself. Also, Ollie. guys, I, I'm almost out of coffee. Can one of you just go get me another coffee, please? That's, uh, no. That should work. That would be amazing if that worked. No, don't. No. Anyway, <laughs> do you want to can we go to some... Lord Sutton's place now? Sure. Sure, we go to Lord Sutton's place. All right. Um, and just to kind of distract. Mm. Yeah. Um, and the party kind of sneaks in. Yeah. Uh, Matt has a thing against cats. 
That's because <laughs> every guard he comes across, like <laughs> he, kicks the he justified the arse like, the first time right Crump got uh Frumpkin got yeah. kicked and killed, yeah. basically. Because he's got like a D4, wasn't it? And this time happens. like the guard kind of just like gets terrified by it, but he's got the thing for against cats. You so think Matt Mercer's more of a dog person? I think he's more of a dog <laughs> yeah. person. He's got the hair for it. Um kinda like dog ears. I mean he, he doesn't want to be a dog. <laughs> I'm I just <laughs> Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. I'll have to ask him next time we hang yeah. out. So, so basically, the, the plot they're going to they're going to go to Lord Suited House and they're going to go to HR's place, as they call it. The, the High Richter. Richter. Um, so, first, they go to um, Lord Suton's place. Yeah. They have a bit of a debacle getting into it. Um, but when they finally get into it, they, fa- they face all these traps and also a, a magic carpet. Yeah. <laughs> so, great use, great use of the, the evil carpet, Matt. Um, fantastic. The party was like, oh, we've got past all the traps. Sweet. Now all we have to do is lift up this carpet and boom, it smothers not and roll initiative. Yeah. Um, now, there was some real cool, like, clever stuff as well inside Lutan's, sort of Lut- Sword of Lutan, mm. Lord Sutan's place. Yeah. Um, in terms of, like, uh, um, it's a flashy place. Yeah, trying to, like, deceive the guards that they walk past mm-hmm. and when that fails, just blatantly just punching them and running. Oh, and Jester does a good good job at distracting. That's why Jester yeah. is my MVP. Ah, Jester this week. Whoa. Yeah, because Jester does does a very good character, kind of like when not fails the stealth roll. Because mm. apparently, worst rogue ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, J- Jester does a good distraction with the guard. And I think Jester was the best best player in this, yep. this, this particular one. Um, Ford also uses a bit of disguise self. Now disguise self is great. It's really really useful. Um, I do find it gets kind of repetitive sometimes. If mm. Every time you approach a social scenario. You just pass yourself off with someone else, roll deception, you know, but but it's a very useful spell, so, I mean, he has to use it, he yeah. has to use it. Um, so, yeah, they, they, they fight the carpet, yeah. um, but they end up being able to um, leave the note, right? Yes, so, sorry, you, you, you jumped ahead, uh, not no. makes a couple of death saves. Oh, yeah, uh, um, uh, to the battle, I was kind of like, it, it wasn't a battle of huge significance. No, I was no, like. um, just I always mention when someone makes death saves. Because uh, it gets the chat on edge, man. Mm. When someone fails a death save, the chat starts. The chat starts going "R.I.P. Not" and "Pray for Not" and all this kind of stuff. Everyone, is, like the minute starts going bad, even slightly, there's so many TKP like oh, messages yeah. that pop up. Yeah. it's like calm down, guys. I'd like to also say um, I forgot my drawing this week. I did do one of Caleb and Frumpkin. It was rubbish, but I did one. Yeah, apparently uh, the other um, ones were stellar. <laughs> I made that joke off camera and I got but to do it again. it was so good, yeah, I did it like every time. Um, I am still doing the, 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 the drawing a week though, because I want to I level up my skill in drawing. Um, but, what was I going to say, I got to watch this one live! Um, it was Easter, I didn't have to work because it was Easter, so I got to watch it live. Oh my god, that was awesome. What was I doing? I wasn't watching it live. I can't remember. <laughs> oh no, I watched the end of it live. Cool. I got the end of it. So you watched the end and then went back and watched the start? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why is that wrong? No, <laughs> you, you can't. You can't have said <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, okay, it's weird. Um, <laughs> so they leave now. Um, not only do they leave the note, they leave a bit of thieves' can as well mm. um, for the guy that uh, Sutan is, because he's working with one of the underlord people, mm. under underground people. Because um, the, the note that they're leaving is about the assassination mm. to kind of a kind of leave evidence that this whole plot has gone on yeah. with Lord Sutton and, and HR. Yeah, so basically they're implicating Lord Sutton and, and the High Rector to get them arrested or, or thrown in jail or at least kicked out of their position. Mm, to kill the big O. Uh, but they also leave some thieves can't, or not leave thieves can't. Uh, mm. Also, some people playing a rogue, if you're playing a rogue, overlook thieves can't as a, as a device. It, you, you have it for a reason, it's real useful to be able to give messages and stuff, always use your thief count. Um, mm. I love thief count. Um, so basically they're kind of jet out there after the plan goes horribly, but they manage to, to achieve the goal. Yeah. Um, and Molly kind of distracts the guards down below, um, mm. just so they gets the distraction for the guys to jump out with the Ulog. Ask them if they want a tarot reading, and they're kind of mm. like, nah mate, we're good. But have a bit of a fall because not not paralysed. Oh my god! Please tell me you have the shot of this for this week's episode. The what? shot, Sam. Like, okay, so 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 not gets paralyzed. Um, cool. Like and that. Sam does this. I can get this shot. The that shot would be amazing. Be there. there, you guys can see it. So so he literally did that for about fifteen minutes. It's kind of like when when um, Scanlan gets. No, no. When um, Grog got turned into a statue, he was like. Oh yeah, Phrase. but man, I was just at the five minute mark. I was impressed. At the fifteen minute mark, I was going, "How are you still doing this?" In their actors, it was amazing. Their actors, oh, they can do this. not oh Sam Regal. You're so um, So the next step is the H- uh, HR's place, the High Richter's place. Correct. Um, so it, it goes a bit smoother getting into their house here. Mm-hmm. Um, they manage to dress up like the High Richter, yep. or, or try. They basically trick a guard to let. A, 
let them in. Yeah, Ford says, oh, someone spilled wine on me, kind mm. of thing. Um, and they've got, she, she's got alarms in the house too, because yeah. apparently security systems in this place are pretty good. <laughs> I, I imagine lords and ladies, kind of paranoid. Um, yeah. You know, you gotta, you gotta but, but luckily, because of their experience that they had in Lord Sutton's place, they yeah. kind of were wise to how to turn it off, yeah. so they managed to turn the side things it's, off. And, it's like that scene in Lion King, where Rafiki like like hits Simba and then he swings again and he ducks and he's like ha ha you see um, oh, I see where you're going yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah. I thought I'd bring a bit of Disney oh that's 6 out of 10 analogy yeah. oh right yeah, that's better than I usually get it's only because Lion King <laughs> 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 really? Lion King you got like 5 points for Lion King yes <laughs> alright there'll be a Lion King reference every week from here on out mm. now they get caught because uh, yeah, appreciate some value I hope you remember <laughs> essentially they um yeah she, she, she finds them she rings a bell which, unfortunately, none of the party had a chance to, to roll against it. I think Matt was like, this has to happen. Mm. The, the, the guards have to be called. Because sometimes in a scenario like that, the DM will be like, okay, one person can roll a deck save. If you can get it, maybe you can reach out and stop the battle. Actually, that brings up a point. At the start mm -hmm. of this campaign, Matt said yeah. that when they're doing large groups, so like the whole group stealths, yeah. didn't he say one person would roll it? I, I, I'm pretty I'm sure, sure he'd said something like that at the beginning of the campaign, but it seems that we okay. kind of lost away that everyone rolls again. Can I outsource it again? Because um, someone out there, if you guys know if, if that had been said, um, pop it in the comments because we'd love yeah, to. We'd love I'm to pretty know sure that. he did say that. It's at the an start. interesting idea, actually, because a lot of times. I think that's what we party, said when it happened. Yeah, because mm. a lot of yeah, a lot of times with a large party. Um, yeah, one person is bound, you know, statistically is bound to roll low. Yeah, they just they nominate who's got the highest one and they roll for that. That's an interesting way of doing it. I might try that out. But I kind of like this way because it adds more of the story narrative because when you've got six people sneaking by, yeah. it's bound to be one of them that's not that stealthy. That's like, true. not apparently. <laughs> well, another thing that I, I realised is... is how how foreign parties must look when they wander into a, 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 a you know an unknown town. They're not wearing the the, the local garbs. They you know that they, they don't speak the dialect. Yeah, but that comes because of the story. It's kind of, yeah. it's kind of like video games, charisma and stuff. Like you can slaughter heaps of people, <laughs> and then all of a sudden you're just like, I didn't do it. Like, or, it's, or it's like one of those games where you can customize your character, and then they put that character into a cutscene. And, and it seems like, so out of place. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you're playing like a stealth game. You're like, good thing I'm hiding with my clown's wig. And there isn't that one guy who's like, why does he look so weird? Yeah, everyone's <laughs> just like, hey man, what's up? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, rings the bell. Uh, Ulag. Ulag, okay. Is it Ulag or Log? Ulag. I thought it was all Log. Nah, it's never, he definitely says it with an A. Okay. Um, man, true love here from Ulag. Um... So we should we should mention yep. that um, HR catches them. Yeah. Before you go with this, because I know the angle you're going with this. Right. One. So basically, they're still at the house. There's a confrontation between Ford, Caleb, and they're not. Yeah. Because um, I think what Caleb wants us wants to take the, take a book or something like that. Okay. Do you, do you remember what the confrontation was about? I've got. Zoba Spire, huge tower. Okay, the answer could be no. <laughs> it's okay to say no, just don't read out all your notes. <laughs> I've got, Jester uses Okay, you don't know, all right. find the wax seal. No, okay. So basically there's a little confrontation between uh, Ford, um, Caleb. And apparently um, the word potato. And, and Ford is able to kind of, cut, they had this confrontation, but then they, then HR basically arrives, the yeah. High Richter arrives and kind of confronts them. And right. that's when you can. That's when Ulag kind of this rage builds inside him. He's like, for my wife! And fireballs her. Um, Does he fireball? <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he self-destructs. He dies as well. Well, fire so he apparently like rips something off, right? And like forces it on it, and it kind of basically does a kamikaze. Right. Well, I kind of thought that was fireball because um, it was fire well, if damage. If a fireball, it could be far away. Well, f well, fireball you can cast like right wherever you want. So you can cast it right next to you, and it engulfs. And I think it's like a thirty foot. But would it engulf yourself? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you, it if could you, have been fireball. But if you because like um, it's very I've got, I've got, it was just fire. It was like. Yeah. Blinding light or something. Oh, I've, I've got like um, I've got like suicide like, kamikaze kind of fireball immolate myself, but for the you know for the purposes of mm. killing people. Uh, my recollection of of this particular event was that he kind of rips off kind of like how Tyrion has little gems and stuff. That he oh, kind yeah. of rips off one of them and kind of yeah. Or um, on the Game of Thrones thing, the the necklace with the poison bits that get crushed and put into drinks. 
I don't remember that. But... Anyway, um, <laughs> so now at this point, at this point, all hell breaks loose. They see that behind them, there's this huge uh, explosion, and uh, what was it called? Zoga Spire starts collapsing. Yeah, so back, there's a black void. Hmm. And a, this black mass around the the Zoba spire, yeah, um, and then it kind of vanishes. It evaporates, so there's a big yeah. gap in the spire, yeah. and the spire begins to tip. Yeah, and then there's two shadows, that, uh, two shadowy figures, figures yeah. that jump off, and then there's two others that follow them. Yeah. Um, so we get um, uh, and HR is dead. Just for the record, Ulog and HR is dead. Yeah. Um, but before before all that happens as well, Ulog finds some evidence. Of the corruption of HR, right, and he took it with him, but Caleb ends up picking it up, right. So just so keep that in mind because I feel like that's that's point pretty there. much probably where the next episode starts with the mysterious figures, with the tower, and with that Ooh, information. Not quite. So this chaos on the street, and then they find one of the subjects, uh, one of the shadowy figures, like dead on the ground, and they find a, a robe mage, a robe mage figure. Um, and then yeah, so back, basically this yeah. figure kind of turns its head. Yeah, he's like an arcane user. He's got like beard. I'm thinking like high level spellcaster. So like insect like armor. And then they like, like screw this. We're getting out of here. Back to the sewers they go. No. Uh, <laughs> so at the end of the episode, the 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 figure kind of turns to them and speaks under common. Um, so Caleb casts um, uh, comprehend language. comprehend languages, um, but. Before anything else is said, it charges at them, and that's where the episode ends. Why have I got back to the sewers written as my last thing? Uh, the, because they, they plan to get back to the sewers, but all this happens as well oh, on okay. the streets. I probably should have written that down. Anyway. We um, review an episode. <laughs> hey, Only half of it. I will say this 100% honestly and sincerely. Okay. We're going to have this therapy session. I feel so awkward. When I have to correct you. <laughs> no, it's fine. statements like no, that. No, because this is, this is, I'll, I'll make you feel better about that. Yeah. I'm half of this show right i can't do it by myself you are the pillar that holds up the structure of this channel so you're the structure no i'm no the stru- i'm the, i'm a smaller pillar with graffiti. so you're another pillar i'm a you're a pillar like a smaller pillar or I'm like a, the bigger pillar because well i think you're a bit taller than, so i'm probably a like, i am taller than so you. i'm a slightly smaller pillar but i've also got work like on i've got uh, I, like, I, graffiti i think what you're trying to say is watch the damn episode <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like back to the source that's where it is it's like no there's no, a huge not. significant thing well, that i don't that know <laughs> i had like other things going no what you guys know it's hard to keep track of all this stuff but you are the pillar that holds up the structure okay. of a pillar over here i as think well. we've been doing this for a year yeah so let's reveal the real reason we actually do these episodes right it's so we can discuss it together and get better at watching episodes yeah that's essentially why we started this because we we, would, <laughs> we would want to talk about the episode, yeah. But we're not like we don't pick up on every single detail yeah. because it's a, f- a three four hour yeah. show. So when you watch it, you pick up things that someone else may not, yeah. and vice versa. I also just like to point out, um, I I had the idea originally to to live stream my my D and D games, and it was just an idea that was rattling around in my head. <laughs> Dave was the one that made it happen. He was the one that was like, actually, we can do this. And I was like, are you sure? I even like, moved in with him to make it. So he moved in with us. We got, we bought cameras. We, we spent hours and hours planning how to set up all the live streams. And it's on this channel. And we spent hours like doing the NPCs and figuring out how to edit. Because neither of us had edited. That's blatantly abundant when you watch our videos. You, you can tell which ones I edit and which yeah. Ollie's edit. If you uh, go, I'm the one that puts up the official Dave and Ollie logos. I don't have that yet. You, you, oh, sometimes you can just I do, ask me. Sometimes You could literally just go, hey, Dave, do you, could you see me this? Sure. Well, because I, I, yeah, I could. I could. But I don't. I don't. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the key. <laughs> um, you could do so many things. But the, the interesting thing is, we did this for like six months before we got like any comments or any people actually watching it. Yeah. And now we've got people that do. So I And people I, that call us up on our bullshit. Yeah. So <laughs> we are like, we do legitimately, every time we do an episode, we yeah. try and get better. Yeah. And we know that we do drop the ball sometimes. Yeah. But that's why you guys are out there to call us out. Yeah. We're here to call us out. And at the end of the day, we're, it's just like watching a movie. Yeah. Because you don't pick up every single little bit in a movie. Yeah. But when you go, Go back you're like oh okay yeah I see. and quite often we only watch these once because we've got a lot of stuff going on um but we do also read all your comments so if you do correct us on something a hundred percent a read. lot of the time when you guys comment on something that we missed yeah or something that we should do better yeah i go back and watch it yeah watch yeah. those particular moments i always take it i always take it i take note of it if you guys say uh i like we're just need... covering our ass now at the end of this episode <laughs> like, yeah we missed up because we don't remember <laughs> but it's fine <laughs> we're all good anyway 
Uh, so, yeah, waffling. the end of the episode, waffling. there's going to be a battle straight off the bat. Yeah. That's where we know with this weird insect-like yeah. kind of wizard slash thing. Yeah, so it was a great episode this week. I really, really enjoyed it. And thank you so much, Easter, for giving me the holiday so I didn't have to work, so I got to watch it live. Cause it's you basically thank Jesus. Thanks, death. Jesus. Thank you for Jesus' death. But he came back, so it's not a sad thing, so it's all good. Um, if you are religious out there, by Wisdom the way, I, I, I got called up. Um, <laughs> yeah, up your ping. Um, basically, <laughs> Stanley I, got revived faster than that. <laughs> okay, I can't top that, so I'm just going to wrap it up. That's the best comment of no, the entire video. No, we're not wrapping it up. You've got to comment. Oh, comment. Yeah, right, right, right. Give it down. You need to slow down, Ollie. I've had way slow. too much coffee. I know. We've, for you guys that don't know, we're filming three more episodes, and I'm very worried that this is going to be the whole thing. So here, I've got it on my phone. Thank you. Read it out, but do it some okay. respect. So, um, this is the comment of the week. Uh, we really love doing these because it means we get to read your comments, um, mm. uh, which we do. All right. So this is from uh, Callista Flores, and it says, We've actually had three, because we're talking about characters with deities last week. Mm. Um, we've actually had three characters with deities so far. Yasha with the storm, la storm Lord, brackets, storms and battles. Uh, Jester with the Traveller, presumably a trickster, a trickster, but who knows. And Molly, who was asked several times if there is a temple to the Platinum Dragon old school reference, uh, Vox Machina, wisdom and merciful justice in the city. He's also mentioned this deity in Trostenwald. I might have put this down as another lie, except this is one of the few Molly slash Taliesin uh, has seemed to keep very consistent. So he's mm. on multiple... And, uh, and the reason why that held up, because Taliesin didn't really have a deity last time. Yeah. Um, so this time it'll be interesting how how he personally takes, uh, takes the challenge of deities. We also got Ford... Um, some kind of sea god? Has that yeah. been established? Or what I, kind I've of not god? heard. I've not heard the names or anything mm. yet. And I think Not and Caleb have some deities there, and I think Not's been mentioned, but very vaguely. I think Not looks up to Caleb like so, a deity. So I do think you're right in the sense of everyone's going to have a deity. I reckon. Yeah. I reckon that's going to be a pinnacle. But whether they play a huge or small part. Yasha definitely will because yep. that is going to be the way Yasha comes in and out of the I game. also think like Matt is kind of aware of this being that he, they're in a cities of Ash where they're not allowed to worship non-sanctioned deities mm. so I think Matt's like got a little a keen on that as well now we might as well theorize oh, thanks for your comment let's, uh, we need to wrap this up because we've been going for ages no, I've got stuff to talk about I know but let's do it quick. just go Okay. Have some coffee. Don't don't try and brush these. <laughs> um, so what, what do you what do you think? Oh, the, right. What's the theory of what do you think the the entities are at the end? Oh right. Oh god. Um, I, I, I kind of feel I kind of feel like it's not anything to do with what's going on in Zadash. I don't think it's anything to do with the Knights of Requital. Or I think the it's, it's. I think the Knights of Requital. Mm. Um, I kind of tasked this mission to go off on the side yeah. to distract what was happening over there. Okay. But it seemed weird for them to, the two events to coincide of HR dying and then that. So maybe mm. there was something HR had that these guys needed. Or that was protecting whatever ha was oh, yeah. happening over there. And well, then see, once it were released, these two figures managed to escape. Because okay. so it was like the prison. That makes sense. I, I, respect, your, I, I respect that. I just think um, uh, the, the level of power that these guys exerted when they, they brought down a tower and they're casting high-level magic, that kind of stuff, mm. I think is way too OP for a party of level threes to be able to take on. So personally, I think it's foreshadowing for something later in the campaign. They're going to just show up, Well, they're just about, some about, about to battle this thing. I think they're they going to get some damage. Them. These guys are going to vanish, uh, and we don't find out about them Later. That's assuming that they are the ones that cause the black mouth. Right. So right, it could have been an object. It could have been. It could have been something a spell else. or a trap. Or it could have actually been the guards doing it, the ones yeah. that were chasing them. But I personally believe it's going to be foreshadowing for a future plot point, and we'll see next week. I really. We'll see. You'll see how that battle goes in next week, and yeah. whether it's going to be like a case of the goal, a goal, a golem, not golem, the knoll, the knoll that they kind of like they got owned by the knoll and then battled him later. Yeah. Could be that kind of deal, but I guess we'll find out. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Mighty Nine all the way. M9, as some of the hipper critters are saying these days. Yo! I don't think anyone's saying that. No, not really. We're just not hip. No. Hot. Anyway, that's NBC's of Wildman for this week. Looking forward to next week's episode. And hey, we've got a whole bunch of uh, episodes of Dragon Tavern coming at you soon because we came up with a whole bunch of ideas and mm. we're just going to film them and it's going to be fun. But obviously, if you've got anything to say about this episode and what you want to bring up next time, leave it in a comment below. Um, make sure you you know do all the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, share us around, or just have a go at us. Yeah. We deserve um, it. We even had one wonderful person that watches our channel. Uh, he's going to make some bracelets uh, for us because he's awesome. So thank you very much, um, dude out there that's, that's 
doing that. That's really, Do you really even cool. know his name? Yep. He comments anyway, all the time there's... on our videos. <laughs> I can tell or say his name now. Go for right. it. Bill Stevens. Bill Stevens, you're a legend. Uh, and we really look forward to those but bracelets. Apparently, legends aren't worth remembering names of. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ripping you so hard because you want to rush this and I think it's stupid. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you very much for go. watching our video. Please enjoy the rest of our content because it's really fun and lots of making for myself all the rest of the day. We bring you the Bye. Bye. Cool. Um, so we're currently at like 462 subscribers, which yeah. is amazing. Um, so as like a thank you, I wrote a poem for each of the subscribers, uh, starting with uh, Leo55. <clears throat> oh, Leo55, you make my heart feel so alive with what you do and watch our shows for all we know you're the best of bros and also if you could see the love that I have for thee if only we hey could do you want to see my penis? Ah! Oh, check god see a doctor no, I get like that it. removed oh my god it had a face oh oh I've seen the devil oh, oh. That, that wasn't my penis that was a photo of you I've seen the demo. <laughs> <laughs>